Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first time that I'm filming in about a week. Feels a little bit weird. I kind of feel a little bit out of practice. Um, if you were not aware, over the last week, I did not post any videos and I also didn't post any of my own content over on Instagram. Um, and I did that along with a lot of other people to highlight the Black Lives Matter movement. I instead wanted to use my platform as a way to amplify the voices of the black community by sharing, by showing ways that you could help, showing ways in which you can learn about what's going on right now and how you can be a better ally, how I can be a better ally. I didn't want Want to start off this new week by kind of just forgetting all about that. So if you are somebody who may be a little bit confused with what's going on, if you don't really fully understand the Black Lives Matter movement, I do encourage you to learn. I will leave a bunch of links in the description box down below for you to check out um, a lot of really, really great resources. Another really great way to support the Black Lives Matter cause is to donate. Um, but I know that not everybody has the ability right now to donate money. So I decided that this week I will be donating all the ad sets that I make on today's video, as well as the second video that that I post this week to the Black Lives Matter organization. So even if you are personally not able to donate just by watching this video and watching the ads that are in and around it, you will be supporting the cause, which is awesome. So with that being said, today's video, it's going to be a favorite. I am going to be talking about some products that I have been loving over the last little bit. Um, I actually only have one makeup product here. Everything else is actually kind of lifestyle related. A lot of the makeup products that I've been loving, I actually just featured in the everyday makeup routine, which was my last video. So I didn't want it to be too repetitive and just repeat the same products all over again So if you want to know what some of my makeup favorites are then definitely check out that video But today like I said, we'll be focusing a lot on some lifestyle things a lot of random things All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it All right So the very first product that I want to talk about is actually quite exciting because I've never spoken about this before on my channel And that is a nail polish now believe it or not I have not worn regular nail polish in probably six years. I have consistently worn gel on my nails for six years straight. There's not been one time where I've taken a break. So I have not been able to go to the nail salon in quite a long time along with everybody else. And so my gel nails went bye-bye very, very quick. And so for the first time in six years, I have been exploring the world of nail polish. And I gotta say, you know, nail polish in general is just kind of a pain in the ass because it just doesn't last very long. It chips really quickly. The only brand that I feel like has actually made my nails look good for longer than just 24 hours is the Lights Lacquer Nail Polish. I'm really excited to be talking about this because this is of course, Kathleen Light's brand. And I've had a lot of her nail polishes in my collections for a long time, and I actually use them quite often on like my toenails, but I've never actually had a chance to use them on my nails. So this has been such a great opportunity to fully discover Kathleen's brand. And I gotta say, um, I have tried a lot of nail polishes over the last couple weeks, and Light's Lacquer, the best. I actually just did my nails before doing this video and the color that I'm wearing is called Woman and it's one of my favorites that she has. It's like this really gorgeous powdery electric blue. First of all, application, wow, it is so easy. For somebody who does not know how to paint their nails, me, I am able to get a pretty much like somewhat perfect application without getting nail polish all over my fingers. I think that has most likely something to do with the applicator. The applicator is really nice and thick and it's a little bit rounded. So I find it kind of like does the work for me. Like as soon as I brush it on my fingernail, it just covers everything in like the perfect shape. She also just came out with a whole neutral collection. So definitely recommend checking those those out but her brights are my favorites and this color is my ultimate favorite woman is stunning okay so next up I have a bunch of fitness things that I've been loving so over the last three months my fitness has taken a dive a deep deep dive it's it's been going like this so I have been trying really, really hard to stay as active as possible. Um, and I've actually started to do a lot more outdoor activities. I've been biking a lot. I've also started running. Now, let me tell you that I was never a runner. Running and me, no, 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 we never, we never got along. Until I saw what felt like every single person on my Instagram feed running 5K, I was like, okay, if, if all these people can do it, I can do it. I can be a runner. And so I just threw on any pair of shoes and I just started, you know, running around my neighborhood, just letting my limbs fly in the wind. And that was my first mistake because I was completely unprepared and I ended up injuring myself. <laughs> first of all, I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds straight. And then second of all, I put on horrible, 
horrible shoes and I hurt my foot. So learned my lesson there and I learned that I needed actual running shoes to be able to run. And so this brings me to my next favorite, a pair of running shoes. From my research, I found that the Hoka One Ones are a big runner's fave. So I blindly bought these online without trying them on, which was honestly a huge risk, but it was a risk that I was willing to take. And I gotta say, these are fantastic. And what a difference it makes when you actually have running shoes that are made for running when you run, I swear, it just lets you like spring a little bit more and it makes it so much easier. So these are called the Rincon. There's really not much more that I can say about them. They're actually a, quite a lightweight shoe, which I really like. I feel like it doesn't weigh me down when I run, you know what I mean? And they're probably one of my favorite running shoes that I've ever tried and I have not injured my foot with these, so that's a plus. <laughs> Another running favorite of mine is actually an app that I've been using to, to train myself because like I said, I never really ran before, so I didn't really know exactly what to do. Just thought that in order to get better at running, you just like went out and, and ran for as long as you possibly can, but apparently that's that's not the best way to do it, and that's how you hurt yourself. So the app is called Couch to 5K, and it trains you from pretty much being a couch potato to being able to run 5K straight. And so I've been doing it for like two weeks now, I believe at this point, and I am now able to run for 10 minutes straight. And when I started, I wasn't even able to run for like 20 seconds straight. The app is really simple. It pretty much just tells you, you know, like how long you should walk for, how long you should run for. And obviously like it gets harder and harder as the weeks and days go on. So by the end, you are you should be able to do 5K without stopping. Another like fitness related thing that I've been loving are these Lululemon shorts. So these are the Wonder Train high rise shorts from Lululemon. Now before finding this particular style, I was wearing the Lululemon aligns, which I love. But the problem with the Alliance is that they're almost like too soft <laughs> and too comfortable to wear for like more intense workouts. Um, I feel like the Align collection is so much better suited for very, very low intensity workouts or honestly just like hanging out and chilling because the fabric is so buttery soft that I find if you sweat too much in them, they, they kind of just soak through <laughs> like i don't really find that they're as durable as a lot of their other fabrics so i felt like the step up was to try out the wonder the wonder under collection and i gotta say this is exactly what the doctor ordered they feel just as soft as the align but they definitely have much more compression to them so they feel like they really just like hold on to my body real real <laughs> I'm actually wearing them right now. I figured I would model them for you. It really doesn't go with my outfit whatsoever, but I did want to show you what they look like on. Now they do come in a couple different lengths. There's like a shorter one, a medium one, then a longer one. I have the medium one, which I think is like the six inch. And this is definitely my favorite length because I find the really short ones just kind of ride up and then the long ones just are too long for my liking. As little clothing as possible when I work out is ideal for me. So these are really perfect. They're kind of just your typical biker short. Really nothing too special, but, but they're really great. Kind of just stay in place, they feel really good, and they work. All right, moving on now to another favorite of mine for my outdoor workouts. This is a little fanny pack that I wear when I go running or when I go biking. And I love this because it stays really, really tight to my body. It's not a bulky fanny pack at all. It's also very lightweight, and I feel like I'm able to fit Weirdly, quite a bit of stuff in here. So this is from Herschel. It's this really pretty dusty pink color. I know that Herschel has a ton of different colors in like all of their styles. So I'm sure you could find even black if you wanted. This is what I've been using to carry like my phone, my earphones, um, my wallet. So very simple, random thing that I've just been really liking. Another very weird, random thing that I've been loving is this AirPod cover for my AirPods. These are my Apple AirPods. These are my earbuds that I like to use also when I work out. So I use these very, very often. And I also misplace them pretty much every single time that I use them. So I wanted to figure out a way to make these stand out in a room. And I went on Amazon and I found this really, really cheap AirPod case that is this bright neon pink. If this is on one side of my house and I'm standing on the other, I can see this because it's so bright. So much better than just like, the white casing that easily just blends into its surroundings. <laughs> oh, so dumb, but again, I've been really liking it, so I wanted to show you guys. So the last non-beauty favorite that I've been really loving is actually a book. This is called The Signs, Decode the Stars and Reframe Your Life. This is a 
astrology <laughs> book. Now I know astrology is not everybody's cup of tea, but I also know that a lot of people really love astrology. And to kind of like rewind a little bit and give you some context, I have never been into astrology up until probably about like a year, year and a half ago. I just never really believed in it. I never really understood it. Like I knew my star sign. I knew that I was a Gemini, but I didn't really know beyond that. And I honestly didn't really know that there was anything to know beyond that. I just thought you were, you know, your sign and that's it. But I've learned that it's actually way more complicated than just your star sign. There's actually something called a birth chart. And if you don't know what a birth chart is, it's pretty much a snapshot of the sky at the exact time that you were born. And every single person is going to have a unique birth chart. And so to simplify it, there are three aspects within your chart. There's the planets, the houses, and the zodiac signs. And so depending on where the planets land in relation to the zodiac signs and the houses, it's going to completely change the meaning of your chart essentially as a whole. It's actually very, very complicated and it's almost like learning a new language when you are starting to like dive into astrology. About like a year and a half ago, I actually met with an astrologist who did my entire birth chart and she pretty much printed me a 20 page document that pretty much said everything there is to say about who I am as a person. And we sat down at a bar for six hours straight and spoke about my birth chart. And it was just so fascinating to me and it really opened up my mind. It opened up my eyes to this whole new world and I just became so interested in it. And more recently, I kind of wanted to dive a little bit deeper. And so I found this book off of a couple people's recommendations and I've been really, really loving it. This book pretty much goes into detail with each and every sign, each house and each planet. So it kind of gives you all the tools that you need in order to be able to fully read a birth chart. So I have been studying this book, taking notes. I've also been asking so many people in my life for their birth times <laughs> so that I can create their birth charts. And it's been so fun and eye-opening and so cool because I'm seeing how the personalities of some of the people that I know in my life are kind of manifesting within these charts. And it's just so interesting. It blows my mind every time. All right, I'm not gonna go much more into it because that's a whole other video in and of itself, but I just wanted to recommend this book if you are somebody who's also into astrology. It's so, so interesting. Okay, so now let's talk about three beauty items that I have been really loving. So this is a brand new lip product from Fenty that I kind of feel like was made for me. This is the Slip Shine. So if I had to compare this formula to any other formula that I've already tried, I would say the L'Oreal Shine Lipsticks are probably the most similar. So it's pretty much like a semi-sheer lip color that has some nice shine to it. It's a very, very comfortable formula. It feels like a lip balm on the lips, but it looks it makes your lips look so juicy. So what I've actually been doing is I've been mixing this bubblegum pink shade with this more nude shade called Glazed. And it kind of just tones down the pink just a little bit. And they just mix together so perfectly and it creates this really pretty pinky nude. Or of course you could wear them on their own and they're really, really beautiful. This is honestly just like my perfect formula. I can see myself wearing this nonstop this summer as like an everyday lip color. All right, I got two more products here. I have a sunscreen here. This is from Dermalogica and it is the Invisible Physical Defense Sunscreen with SPF 30. Now I've kind of been switching between this guy and the Super Goop sunscreen, but I've spoken about the Super Goop sunscreen in like my last two or three videos. So I didn't want to mention that one again in today's video, even though I just did. It um, is pretty good for my sensitive skin. Sometimes sunscreens just like break me out or like cause weird reactions on my skin. This one has been really fantastic. And I, and I kind of knew it would be like that because Dermalogica is a brand that I always can trust. Like I feel like a lot of their products just work really, really well for my skin. So I, I wasn't surprised that their SPF just worked perfectly. Oh, the sun just came out. Perfect timing. It's not greasy. You don't really feel it on your face. It doesn't have a very offensive smell. It kind of just disappears. So like I said, I've been using this guy and the Super Goop. I find that I use the Dermalogica one more when I'm not wearing makeup and that I use the Super Goop sunscreen, the unseen sunscreen when I am wearing makeup because that one has more of like a primer consistency to it. This is more of like a traditional sunscreen texture. So the last product that I want to talk about is a product that I did recently just mention in I think that everyday makeup tutorial that I just posted, my last video. But I wanted to mention it again because it really has been such a consistently used product in my routine as of lately and it is the Hair Routine Hair Mask. It also gets extra cool points because it is a local Montreal brand and I love supporting local Montreal businesses. So there are a couple hair masks within the brand. I 
do use all of them and really like all of them. Um, I find that they all really do a good job of just kind of protecting my hair and making my hair feel really nice and healthy and shiny and just strong. And what I've been doing very, very often is I've actually been using this mask in place of like a hair gel when I put my hair up in a bun. So if I know that I'm gonna wash my hair at the end of the day and I don't really have any where to go and lately I've been having nowhere to go, I've just been putting my hair up in a bun and I've been using this hair mask as kind of like the gel to like slick back my hair. So I end up getting this really nice slick back bun, but at the same time, my hair is being moisturized for the entire day. By the time I wash my hair out at night, my hair is like so silky, so shiny, and I find it's been honestly like a blessing for my hair. It's been making it feel so, so good. I have also been using the hair routine um, shampoo and conditioner, which I do also really, really love. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are all the things that I've been loving lately. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.